All right, I know I am a little bit late today for the live on Saturday morning, but we are live. Well, I am live, and uh, I'm here to talk with you guys about preparedness. Being prepared for life, for activities, for traveling, for workouts, for the unknown. Now, as a diabetic, we have a lot of things to worry about. Whether you're type 1 or type 2, life can take uh, a lot of practice, especially when you're newly diagnosed as a diabetic, to know what to expect, to know what you should prepare for, and how you should prepare for it. Now, uh, this morning, and part of the reason why I was late for this live, is uh, we were going through storage, getting ready to move some stuff, and what I anticipated but did not plan for enough was the activity after my breakfast, after I had injected my insulin, bringing me down. So I, uh, I was staying at a pretty good level, stay with good blood sugars and as we were moving boxes and moving heavy items I ended up dropping a little bit so um, over the last maybe 45 minutes I dropped from 170 which is post meal so it's expected to the 90s and I would have dropped further if I hadn't had my tandem T slim basal IQ which you guys have probably heard me talk about before what it does is it cuts my basal insulin which is my background insulin or the long lasting just enough uh, so that it helps me avoid going low, and then once I stabilize, it starts the insulin back up. I'll show you guys on screen how long I was dropping and how long it was red for. See if you can see that red line. It was quite significant, about 30 minutes. As you can see, I'm 102 right now, so it's perfect. Um, very excited about that whole new algorithm, but had I not had that algorithm, if I was on MDI or multiple daily injections, what would I have done? What would you have done? What would you have done to prepare for that? Uh, and if you're a type 2, maybe you have a little bit too much uh, of your medication. Maybe it's metformin. Uh, if you take too much metformin and doctors don't know what you, are, uh, what you need for your insulin sensitivity, then you might be dropping as well. You might have low blood sugars occasionally, especially with physical activity. Now, what would you have done if you were dropping? In that case, I would recommend something that I would do is take a glucose tablet. What that is, it's a, a little tablet of just pure sugar. And uh, each tablet is four grams of sugar, so it's a nice little boost to either catch that drop and stabilize you or to bring you up a little bit. Sometimes it's necessary to bring your blood sugars up if you are expecting to go uh, into a workout or even into a moderate level activity such as walking or moving boxes. So I am planning on going to a workout after this, so I want to make sure that my blood sugars are at least above 100. What the, the general recommendation is, is to be above 150. That way if you do have a drop, if you're going to go for a run or uh, a more intense level of activity, you might drop quite a bit. Some people drop 100 points even. Um, so making sure that your blood sugar is at a good range before you do these activities, and the way you can prepare for this is by practice. Practice makes perfect. We will never have perfect control. Sorry to, to bust that bubble, but you can prepare for it. So you can prepare by making sure your blood sugars are at a acceptable range before you enter this level of activity or this workout, whatever it is. You can also prepare by bringing sugar, bringing uh, you know glucose tablets, honey sticks, juice boxes, fruit, whatever it is that you choose to bring your blood sugars up that you've known to work for you in the past bring that with you. Throw it in your gym bag, throw it in your purse, whatever you have with you so that you're ready for those drops just in case it happens. You want to be ready for it. And the success as a diabetic is largely due to being prepared for the unknown because we know what can happen, but are we prepared for when it does happen? Are you prepared for when you go low, when you're at the mall walking around? Now luckily at the mall, that's a place where there's tons of food you can go to a, a little kiosk and buy some snacks and help you with that hypoglycemia. But maybe you're on a hike in the middle of nowhere. You should definitely have some sugar there. Have something to prepare you or have something that makes you prepared for that situation so that you don't catch yourself going low in the middle of nowhere with no help. Maybe there's no cell service. You want to be ready for those things. You can avoid those problems by being prepared. So as you you know, go through your weekend adventures. I hope you guys are getting outside enjoying, well, at least what we have here in California is beautiful weather. Uh, I'm going to be going to the beach tomorrow, go surfing. Um, when you guys go outside, make sure you have those emergency snacks. Make sure you have your medications. Some people have uh, some trouble remembering their insulin or their metformin, whatever your medications are for diabetes. Uh, so I used to have to write notes and set alarms before it was habit. So I would have an alarm every night at 10 o'clock at night 
for my long-lasting insulin shot before I was in the insulin pump, and I would have alarms in the morning for my vitamins. And if that's what it takes, so be it. Whatever it takes to get your health, to make you healthier and to get your health and your control of your diabetes back, you want to do it. It's worth it, trust me. Be prepared and do what it takes to take control of your health, ultimately, because that's going to make you feel better. It's going to give you more energy once you have that under control. It's more of a peace of mind. It's all worth it. So my encouragement to you guys today is do what you have to do to be prepared for the unexpected. And diabetes gets a whole lot easier once you're ready for it. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and keep up the fight.